In CS Pro, there are effectively two methods for data validation, double data entry with the data compare tool and data verification. Double data entry is a system for checking data entry. Some people don't like it because of the extra time and effort needed, but I've yet to find a better method of checking data entry. With this system, the data are entered twice by two different data entry operators and into different files. The resulting files are then compared and any discrepancies are investigated and corrected. CS Pro is packaged with a tool that compares the data in two separate files based on the same dictionary. This is the Compare Data tool and is available from the Start menu under Data Tools. Alternatively, you can find it on the Tools menu within CS Pro. When you open the Data Compare tool, you are first asked for the name of the dictionary file. When the dictionary file is opened, the structure of the dictionary will be displayed as shown here. You can opt to compare just part of the data, selecting whole records or opening the tree display even further and selecting a subset of the items within each record. We generally recommend doing a complete comparison as shown here. Once you have made your selection, you would click the Run button, which has the traffic light icon. The dialog here will then appear and you're asked for the input file and the reference file. These are the two data files that you want to compare. Which way, way round you list the files it shouldn't matter. The listing file is the name of the output file, which will be a text file listing any differences. The default name is csdiff.lst, but you can change its name. For the comparison method, we'd recommend the second of the two options. Compare input to reference and reference to input. The first option is really only relevant if you have double entered just a subset of the cases. For the comparison order, you should choose compare in indexed order. For this method, CS Pro will match cases according to the unique identifier. Sequential order relies on the cases having been entered in exactly the same order, which might not be the case. Indexed order is certainly safest. The listing file generated by the Data Compare tool will specify which files are being used and will detail any differences in the two files. The example here tells us that the input file is pharma.dat and the reference file is pharma2.dat. It also tells us there is a difference in the name of the main respondent in one of the cases. It gives the identification for the case and the values that are found in each case. The identification for this case is UK01 TQ01 0001. You may remember in our example the identification consists of the site ID, the village ID and the household ID. Thus this is household 1 in village TQ01 which is in site UK01. With these results you would need to find the questionnaire for this household and check whether the main respondent was Mary Smith or Jane Smith. Data verification is the other method of data validation available within CS Pro. With this method, the data are entered a second time into the same file. Again, you can choose which items you want to verify. When you enter the data value for the second time, a comparison is made with the existing value. If the values are the same, you just move on as you would in normal data entry. However, if the values differ, you'll need to re-enter the value. There are three possibilities here. The re-entered value matches the value already in the data file. In this case, this value is retained and you move on. Or the re-entered value matches the new value you entered. In this case, the new value will replace the original in the data file. Or the re-entered value doesn't match with either the one already in the data file or the new value. In this scenario, you would need to enter the value again and you continue around until there was a match. So, which method is better? Let's look at the main differences. Double data entry or DDE is more thorough. You can include the listing file with your data archive as part of your proof of data quality. 
it effectively forms part of your audit trail. But you would need two data entry operators. And you would need a third person to do the data comparison. This generally requires a higher skill level. On the other hand, verification is quicker. And you only need one data entry clerk plus one person to do the verification. Whichever method you choose, you will need to allocate time, money and commitment. So your task now is to try out these methods of data validation. Use the data compare tool to look for differences in a couple of data files that we provide you. Then have a go at data verification. Try entering some incorrect values and see what happens. Is this the end of data checking? Once again, there is a practical handout to guide you through the process. When you've worked through the practical, decide which method you prefer and which you think is best. Discuss your decision and the reasons for it on the forum and see which method others prefer.